This is an early plus adder by Bell Punch. The first versions of this adder were made by Petters Limited and called the Petometer. Petters Limited is best known for making internal combustion engines and one of the brothers who run that company, Guy Baisley Petter, he designed this, uh, this small adder and he called it the Petometer uh, named after the Comptometer that, it, that the design is uh, yeah, based on and in, he did this in 1933 and a few years later in 1936 Bell Punch bought the rights to make this machine It's a very simple direct adder, so when you push a key, the number gets immediately added, added to the register. You can uh, push several buttons at the same time. And uh, yeah, it doesn't do the carry until you've released the keys. Uh, this particular model is uh, the model S. It uses a sterling currency. So this first column is for pennies and counts up to 11 pennies. Um, when it reaches 12 it uh, carries over because 12 pennies make one shilling. 20 shillings make a pound so this column is an ordinary decimal column, it carries over after 9 but this column here carries over immediately after 1 so 19 shillings make a pound and yeah these are ordinary decimal columns it has a, a clearing lever on the side and pushing that down clears the register so it's a very simple machine to use uh, but you can only really do additions with it. Subtractions and multiplications, let alone divisions, are really difficult and not really done on this machine. Let me uh, show you the side. Uh, yeah, this clearing lever has a very nice Art Deco design. Uh, on the back it has this, uh, this label, plus adder, made in England, Bell Punch Company, London. And on the bottom it has a, a plate listing all the uh, patent numbers, the Model S, the Sterling model, and number A5418. And here is a, a label for the uh, distributor. This, these early models, they, uh, they, they would uh, increment the register on the downstroke of a key. That has the problem that if you push uh, the key only part way down, then only part of the number gets added. And that can yeah, lead to wrong results if you're not careful. The later design of the mechanism that would only uh, uh, that would increment the number on the return stroke and only engage once you've pushed it down completely that way you were sure to add the whole number uh, not, and not be able to add it partially like this those improvements were made in around 1940 so this particular machine was made somewhere between 1936 and 1940 Let me do, uh, do one complete rollover of the whole uh, register. So I've now set it to the maximum possible amount. And now I'll uh, just add one. There you go, it rolls over all the way to zero. Yeah, so this was the Bell Punch Plus Adder, the early pre-war model. Thank you for watching.